So, so far what we have done is we have added these fields to our rental unit object. Unit number, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, floors. Now the next field that we need to add is garage. And this is going to be a pick list and the options can be for the pick list would be attached. Is the garage attached to the apartment? It is detached or there is a assigned parking. So this is going to be a pick list with these pick list values. So we'll go back here and click on new fields and it is going to be a pick list data type. Hit the next button. The label for the field will call it as garage and use the global pick list value set or you're going to enter your own value. So we're going to go ahead and select the second radio button and the values would be attached. The next one is detached. The third one we have is third option would be assigned parking. Restrict the values to the values defined in this value set and then hit the next button and visible to all hit next and then save and new. So we have added field for the garage. The next field we have is number of parking spaces and that is going to be equal to number with the length of two. So we'll go ahead and we'll select the number as the data type, hit next and uh, the field label would be number of parking spaces. This is going to be the field label and the length would be two decimal places would be zero and hit the next button visible to all hit next and then you have is save and new the next field we need to add is laundry which is a pick list and the pick list value would be in unit hookups or in, in a community so every unit will have a laundry room or it can be one laundry room for the whole apartment complex so there are two options to choose from so we're going to go ahead and create this pick list and uh, we will go ahead and hit next. The field label will be called as laundry. So this is going to be the field label. Enter the values that we want. So the values would be in unit hookup. And the second option would be community. And then hit the next button, visible to all, next, and then save and new. Then the next one, it is the field that we will add is appliances included and it's going to be a checkbox. So is the appliances comes with the unit or do you need to buy your own appliances like fridge, microwave, etc. So that is what the appliances including is going to indicate. So we'll add this data type here would be checkbox and then hit the next button. Field label, we'll call it as appliances included. This is going to be the field label and then hit the next button visible to all next and then save and new the next field that we have is the furniture included so you can see here the next field is furniture included and it is also a checkbox so does the apartment unit comes fully furnished or you have to furnish it yourself so this is what this checkbox will present so here we're going to go ahead and select the data type as checkbox and then hit the next button the field label, we will call it as furniture included and uh, by default value would be unchecked, hit next, visible to all, hit next and then we're going to go ahead and say save and new. So what is the next field? The next field is total square footage of the apartment is going to be a 1200, 1400, whatever. So whatever is the square footage for that apartment unit. So it's going to be a number field and uh, it can be in decimals also. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select the data type as number and the field label we will call it as total square feet and the decimal places and it's going to be three and then hit the next visible to all then hit the next button and then save. So far what we have done is we have added these fields to our rental unit object. So you have unit number, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, floors, garage. This is a pick list, number of parking spaces, laundry, appliances are included, checkbox and the total square footage. We have a couple more fields to add. So we'll go ahead and add that in the next tutorial. So I will see you then. Thank you.